If you're into music, you've probably heard of Spotify. And if you're into music production or in the music industry, you may be very interested in the raw data behind Spotify's catalog. I'm going to show you how to download parts of Spotify's public catalog, like the artist's directory or their tracks. You can see who's up and coming and maybe get in touch with them using the official Spotify API, all without writing any lines of code. This is the Spotify developers portal. You can do a lot with all of these technical resources Spotify gives to app developers. Like if you want to build a custom app or share music or post music to your stories or do something with TikTok, you can do a whole lot of things. We're just interested in collecting data from the catalog, which is much simpler. So don't get overwhelmed by all this. I know it looks complicated. All you have to do is use their web API, which you can access if you go to docs, you can learn a little bit more about the platform and we want to use the web API so we can scrape public data from the Spotify catalog. So you could do a little bit of reading, which I know no one ever does on the internet, and then you wanna click this link here for endpoints. I'll put a link to this below in the video description so you can find it easily. And these are all of the endpoints we can use to access the Spotify API and get data back. So for instance, we look at the browse endpoint, we can get a list of the new releases on Spotify that show up on that public part of the app. We can also search the catalog, like if I want to search for a particular type of emerging artist in a particular field, or I can search for a particular song or a genre, I can do that with this search endpoint and just put in a free text search, just how the Spotify application works. The difference is using this API, I can download this raw data in CSV format and I can get it in bulk, like thousands or tens of thousands of records that I can use and analyze actually use this endpoint, we have to then go and figure out, all right, well, how do I authorize with this? And we look at OAuth and application and user scopes, and I'm gonna save you all this time. If you just want to pull down data, you can build your own client app in Spotify for free, and then use that to make your request. So you'll be limited to the scope of that one app, but it's simple. So all you do is go to dashboard here, and then click login you'll log in with your regular Spotify account. You can have a free account and then you can create a new client ID if you don't have one yet. You just have to answer some basic questions. So you can put in, you don't know, and just write that you're building a test application to pull down data. I don't think they have a formal review process. You should get approved immediately, at least I did. I made this test app here. And then once you have this app, they'll give you a client ID and a client secret. You need these two things to then begin using those API endpoints. But if we go back to the search endpoint, we see here that it's only a single field for authorization. We don't just plug these two values in and then run a request. We actually have to go and get an access token through another Spotify endpoint. So if we go back to our pocket sized authorization guide and carefully review all this information, we'll eventually get to a point in the guide where we get to this endpoint here where what we need to do is send Spotify the client ID and client secret, and we'll get back an access token we can then use to hit all of the other endpoints, such as the search endpoint here. So to get this code, you can follow this guide. Again, I'll link to this below. And they tell you you can either base 64 your client ID colon client secret, and then make the request that way, which is adding another layer of indirection, or they, tell you in a kind of subtle way here that you can just pass in client ID and client secret, those two values I showed in the post body. To simplify this, I made an endpoint on the Steve C data platform, I'll have a link to below, you can use to get this access token from Spotify. It reconstructs the URL in this documentation, but instead of all this text, you can just put in your client ID and secret here, it'll build the URL for you and it will give you the curl command you could run on your own computer or you could run it via the Steve C data platform. Now I've entered my client ID and my client secret from the dashboard and I can hit submit. And Steve C is gonna go and make the request on my behalf and it's gonna give me back this access token here, which I can then copy and begin using on all those other endpoints. So back to the search endpoint, we now want to see what are the other inputs it needs now that we've figured out authorization. So I can see it asks for a query, they query Roadhouse Blues, and then you can put in a type, which are the types of objects you want back from Spotify. So you can get back albums, artists, playlists, tracks, shows, and episodes. So this covers all the musicians, independent artists, and even their whole podcast library. You can search for anything you want, and there are millions of objects they have in their database and get back what you need. 
You can also filter results by country. Maybe you're looking to find new up and coming artists in your country. You can plug in the country code that you want to get results back for and Spotify will limit the results for that. You have to read these disclosures. Sometimes it doesn't work for certain types like playlists it won't apply to, etc. But you can read the documentation and act accordingly. Uh, and then also to get thousands and thousands of results, we need to pass in limit and offset. So for example, if we want to keep paginating through multiple pages, we would set limit to 50, which is the mo most you can get per page. And every time we run the offset, we keep increasing the offset by 50. It looks like we'll give you up to 2,050 results at a time. But the way around this to get tens of thousands is you can run sort of micro searches, like run a search for each country, and you can combine all those results at the end and you'll build up a very large list of data you get back. Well, let's do a quick demo. This is another CC data endpoint that I made. I'll have a link to all this below. And full disclosure, I just so happen to own this product. It's a paid product, but it will save you time from writing any code. So let's say I want to search for hip hop. I just type in the query here. This corresponds to the query here. And like I mentioned before, you can do more advanced queries. You could put it in quotes if I wanted to search for this exactly. You can do other more advanced field filters like search for an album name, for example. Uh, so you can follow this and plug whatever value is in over here. And the Spotify access token I get from the response of my other request. So I'll just copy this here, paste it in. Optionally, I can specify a market, like I only want results from the US. I just want the first page. And here by default, it'll give me all objects back. But let's say I just want to get artists back. I just type in artist. You can see the possible inputs you can put in here, separate them by a comma. And if I execute, Steve will go and make the request for me. This is the raw data that Spotify sends back to you. So if you're writing your own program, you would have to deal with this. And you can see it gets very nested. They repeat the, like, the same image three times over and over. So you have to go in this array and figure out which image you want. So you know this is great. They give you three resolutions. But most of the time, you just want, you know say, the first one, the highest resolution for you. So what the CC platform does is it automatically flattens all this up and transforms it into these collections you can then just download as CSV files. So for example, here are all the artists it found and I can just download a CSV of all of them. I can look and I get the follower count for each of the results back and maybe I only want to find up and coming artists. So I can look for people with say under a thousand followers like this person. I can see their name and I can also look up more information about them on Spotify using the artist ID, which I can just copy over here. And if I go back to the Spotify API, I can see that I can look up information about artists once I have the ID. So I can get more details about the artists, I can get all their albums, or I could even get their top tracks for a given country. Here's this endpoint on the Steve C data platform where I can just put in the artist ID, enter my access token, and the default country is the United States, but I can change this to other countries and it will show me the top tracks for only those countries instead. Run this real quick and we got 10 tracks back. It gives you back, I guess, 10 at a time and I can see more information about them. So I can even preview this track. Okay, this may be copyrighted. I can see the name of the track, uh, more information. Uh, I can open this up in Spotify even on the web player so I can interact with the artists over Spotify, I can follow them. I can get the image like I showed you before, and I can download all this in CSV format. So that's just the tip of the Spotify API iceberg. There's a lot more you can do with this, like get back data on podcasts. We can even get audio features back on music tracks. Like if you're a DJ and you're looking for different tracks you may want to use, you can get back like the beats per minute, how much energy and danceability each song has. You can discover new tracks. You can also find contact information for a select few artists who have external URLs as Spotify calls them. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, what data you want to get back from Spotify to help you out either in your music consumption or production, and I'm more than happy to make more videos. And remember to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and stay data driven.